and uh, I'm enjoying this event very much because I'm meeting new people and uh, so far I've enjoyed the lectures as well. Germany is my first time being here and but not the first time being at any Jewish events uh, but it's quite interesting I have met a lot of interesting people I have listened to many yeah, series and uh, really important discussions and yeah hope to see uh, hope to be next year again in Frankfurt Germany and I like uh, this forum very much I'm for the fourth time here and I could uh, exchange me with people from all over Europe about the uh, theme of Jazz Arbeit in Madrid and especially I was very uh, glad to see some people from St. Petersburg from New Lodge and to exchange me with them about the causes of Jazz Arbeit in their lodge. Thank you. I'm from Russia. It's great to be here. It's a wonderful experience. One of them is the president of Neighbourhood in France, the colleague of Jean Edelton, who is the president of BBUK. So welcome Serge Dahan from Paris and his wife. I would also like to welcome my friend and colleague, who is the secretary general and member colleague from the executive of Neighbourhood Europe, Dr. Yves Kamami and his wife Corinne. And I also would like to welcome and thank my friend Wallace Sachs from BBUK, who does such a wonderful work on the BB, BBUK website and helps us also with the website of BBE. So thank you very much and welcome Wallace. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> now you know, John, that you know, John and Simona, we are very close to you and to Maureen, you know that. And uh, the amount of work that John has put into this is just absolutely out of this world. And. Uh, John, thank you. What can I say? You know what I have to say. Yeah, thank you very much. Well done. Thank now, you. one of them is, of course, that Gilat is here together, and Ben, who's his friend, came here along too. And, you know, for us, it's like a miracle that you are here, and you're one, without any doubt, one of the heroes of our people, Gilat. And uh, there's, for me, I had a very interesting personal experience, and I think Gilat and those who went there also had the same thing, feeling. Uh, John, thanks to John, we went on Thursday to go to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Now, which country has a foreign office and a Commonwealth office? So already that was something very special. And we want to make you an honorary member of Neighbourhood. And this, it says here, to salute his value and celebrate his presence at the Young Jewish Adults Forum, London, 16th to 18th November 2012, to Gilad Shalit, is welcomed into our order as an honorary member and as our brother. London, the 17th of November, 2012, signed by Alan J. Jacobs and by myself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, as, a, uh, as an indication of his membership in our order, I'd like to present and perhaps pin on to Glant's shirt this pin, which is a B'nai B'rith pin, to show that he is a member of B'nai B'rith. Please to me. Thanks. Shalom to I'm very happy and I'm very happy to be here with the Bnei Brit It's a great pleasure to be here with you in החשוב הזה. גילאד says that he's very happy to be with us here at this annual event of B'nai B'rith and that it's it's a big honor for him to be here with us. אני רוצה להודות לחברי בן שעשה איתי את כל הדרך הארוכה 
ממצפה הילה, שאנחנו גרים עד ללונדון כדי להשתתף איתי באירוע הזה. He wants to thank everyone from the bottom of his heart uh, for being here and receiving him. He also wants to thank his friend Ben, who came along with him from Mitzvahila. <laughs> Quite a way from there, just to the airport, and they, they did that, and he thanked Ben for joining him. And <laughs> me emotionally and that was yesterday the speech of Ismail Khali from the embassy and uh, and uh, we thank you so much that uh, you uh, that you you know you work you, the speech that you gave and you'll work so hard and so dedicated for the state of Israel and I think that we really appreciate that all so thank you very much um, but uh, really two not so young but they stayed young um, who made this possible and that's Simone thank you very much Really? Really, without... Sorry. What does he mean, not so young? Okay, I'm going to become a diplomat. Yes, I okay. You know, we talked about disobedience and sticking to the truth, so, you know. And uh, second, John... The Youth Commission, as you might know, is uh, the, um, yeah, they are organizing the Young Jewish Adult Forum since the six years now. This is the sixth one, and uh, a weekend like this um, asks for a lot of work and organization, as, as you can see. Uh, it puts, we need a lot of energy, young energy, and of course, uh, at the end of the weekend, we would really like to for you to be um, involved in the Jewish community through neighborhood, of course, but also in the Jewish community in your different countries, sorry. And the thing is that um, if you don't have any connection or if you have far connection, you can always call the office in Brussels or me, for example, for France, because it's very important for the young people to continue the work. Of course, we have a lot of young people already in, but uh, we want also you to come in. And it's not always a question of taking, but also of giving. And the uh, more you give, more you get enriched in your experience, because Bnei B'rith, Bnei B'rith is about three words. Uh, benevolence, harmony, and brotherly love. And once you are inside Bnei B'rith, you can really understand these three very important words. It gives you the opportunity to meet people, to interact with people, but also to get an experience, a huge experience that you would never get outside Neighbor. One year ago, when we met in Berlin, we talked about the Neighbor campaign to free Galat Shalit. And here this weekend, we were able to not only include him in our program, but to also to extend him lifetime membership in our organization. That we can truly celebrate. Towards that end, B'nai B'rith will continue its efforts in New York at the United Nations, where we have full-time staff working on this. In addition, throughout the more than 50 countries where B'nai B'rith exists, our members will continue to work to help Israel to be recognized and respected for what it is, a beacon of liberty and justice in the Middle East, perhaps the only one in a troubled area. Again, we must not be silent. The leadership of tomorrow starts with involvement today. Our young leadership program has become a vital part of our overall B'nai International. This afternoon you met Rebecca Saltzman, who by the way, also was this year one of the Label Cats Award winners. Rebecca, please stand up. I had the privilege of appointing her as the international chairman of the Young Professional Network. It is exciting to us. It is something that we are working with in the future because it is the future of B'nai B'rith. In addition, I am proud to have on my leadership team Daniel Satone of Rome, who is the international senior vice president.
In addition, we have made a strong partnership with the AE5 fraternity, represented here tonight by Andy Barnes, their director. Andy? This is another avenue for increasing young leadership efforts in the Jewish world and increasing the ranks of young Jews involved in B'nai B'rith. As we move into our 170th year, B'nai B'rith continues to change to meet the needs of the 21st century, whether it is through our three centers, our International Center for Public Policy, our Center for Senior Services, or through our disaster relief efforts. B'nai B'rith will continue to be a player on the world stage. I urge all of you to join with us in this very important mission. We have no alternative but to be successful, and with your help, we can accomplish much. I would leave you with one admonition. Be active in your home country and help us as we move from strength to strength. Thank you again for this invitation, and I hope that you have been inspired through this forum. You are the leaders of the future, and we Jews need you. Thank you.